Virgo, welcome back to the channel. This is Kelly from House of Virgo. If you're new, please smash that like button and subscribe. If you want to get a personal reading, there's a link in the description box below. I am running a discount at this time, so go over and check that out. Also, you can become a member of my channel if you would like to join. It's $2.99 per month, which is like, I don't even know, like a penny a day. <laughs> it's super, super inexpensive. You get super cool badge and some emojis, all that good stuff. So, um, yeah, if you are new, welcome. And if you are a returning subscriber, welcome back. And um, yeah, let's get into your reading and see what's going on for your weekend. We're looking at, my goodness, March 22nd through the 24th. See what plays out here for you. All right, starting with heart with a key. I'm going to try to see maybe on Friday. Welcoming love, meeting the one, opening your heart, getting together and perfect. That's nice. Okay, so you're connecting with someone perhaps on Friday. There's the lovers and the knight of cups, the six of swords. Oh, there's someone coming from long distance. Um, there's a love offer, definitely, or you're traveling, or someone's traveling, or going out Friday night, connecting with someone, perhaps a date, you're getting asked out on a date, getting together, um, some of you might be asked to travel a little bit further than normal, what's not, like, something you're not used to going, or going to a new place, so it's a little bit of coming out of the comfort zone energy, you know, it's like, oh, I've never been there before, um, or, or uh, I'm not sure that, you know, like you get invited to have octopus for dinner and you're like, I, I don't eat octopus, but I mean, okay, maybe there's something else on the menu. You know, it's kind of like one of those situations here and it's definitely movement or, and, and so this, you know, either there, somebody's asking you out, um, it could be a Gemini, um, or it could be another Virgo, uh, you're going somewhere or going somewhere for the weekend. Okay. Um, staying somewhere very nice perhaps yeah let me have um let me have a um clarifying card why can't i talk for the lovers let me see it's definitely romantic oh yeah oh somebody is so into you virgo really curious about you asking tons of questions or they've been kind of maybe looking at you on social media looking to see like you know it could be a mutual friend or it's a friend of um, like a family friend or like if you have kids or like there's a connection maybe to somebody young as well or this person <laughs> I just heard um, somebody's somebody's young younger sibling or child is like says hey you gotta meet Virgo you gotta meet you know you gotta meet mr. or mrs. Virgo maybe you do something and you have like a connection to children and kind of gets brought out out of the I don't know. It's like a little kismet situation happening here. <laughs> yeah. So, um, yeah. So with the six of swords, this is like also perhaps relocating or moving or somebody asks you um, or tells you that like they're going to be moving to your area or, uh, you know, vice versa or asks you to move to theirs because you do have heart with a key. So that can be that's like a keyhole. And I was talking about keys the other day. So they could have something to do with like sharing a key or giving a key. Oh, my gosh, you've got the page of cups. There's so much love, so much. Oh, my gosh, good stuff happening tomorrow. <laughs> and now, so like I always say with these readings for the weekend, these, these could be, they're, they're fluid. So, you know, Friday, you're like, okay, it's already 11 p.m. Nothing's happened. You know, it could happen on Saturday or Sunday. There's definitely some communication, even there could be two children involved or, you know, just children, yours or theirs or somebody else's. But there's definitely like, hmm. I feel like somebody views you as like their ninth cup, like a wish come true, and they want to pursue um, exploring and understanding and learning more about you, for sure. Um, yeah, okay, I like it. I like it. Okay, so let's see. Taking some time out, going somewhere, doing some, maybe even going hiking, asking, somebody asking you if you want to go hiking, or, you know, take a walk, even, like, you know, moving with the walking stick kind of thing. Okay, so you also have boats. This, this could be somebody that owns a boat. Okay, maybe it's like um, going out on a boat, little weekend excursion on a sailboat or something. 
um, receiving what you need, progression, arriving, moving on, closure issues. Hmm. So there's definitely an energy of like moving forward, something progressing, and you even have talking. So yeah, there's. I feel like this is all kind of combined, honestly. Like I feel I'm not even gonna like pinpoint the days i just feel like there's conversation and a weighted a weighted message arrives a text call email um someone's interested in talking to you or getting like conversing about some stuff with you or about um connecting in some way Let, let's get a little more information here for you okay queen of cups cancer scorpio pisces a reunion homecoming the star aquarius energy there's your ninth cup, Virgo. So, wow. This weekend. Oh, there's definitely some reunion vibes. Commitment. Renewal. Healing. Here's the King of Pentacles. So that's either you or another Earth sign. There is... I feel like there's an energy of um, either you're meeting the one or meeting somebody new or there's a reconciliation happening with someone um, or someone's very watery energy or Earth energy. Uh, there's a healing between two people in a relationship. So there's progression. There's something moving forward. I feel like you and this other person, whomever they are, you might already know them. You might not. This could be somebody new coming in for some of you because the Page of Cups is new love. Can be about new love. So, yeah. there. Gosh. Hmm. I mean, hey, if this is somebody you don't know and you're <laughs> meeting them this weekend and they're already asking you to move in, girl... Red flag city right there. I'd be like, what? So, yeah. Um, and it, so it may not be that. They might not actually be saying, hey, okay, I know we just met, but hey. Um, it could just be conversation, you know, conversing more. This is what I'm looking for, um, you know. And some of you might be talking with someone online as well, or where there's like distance water between you. Um, either water between you or like you're just a geographical uh distance land distance whichever it might be yeah okay so i mean i feel like okay this this reading's over with <laughs> i just it just feels like it was just straight to the point all right let me see talking show virgo communication oh my gosh this this whole reading is screaming marriage commitment doing things the right way even the hierophant is about like conforming um oh traditional um conventional expectations okay communicating clearly i'm not gonna deal with any cheating <laughs> or my last ex or last person was like a cheater and ran away you know i'm ready to manifest something new taurus energy um libra showing up here yeah you guys like seriously there is some conversation that is getting like it's it's pretty serious you know um even with the seven of swords they are telling me like even that running away energy um somebody could have like be a bit avoidant as well or they were dealing with someone that was avoidant or maybe you were um but just like even this running away energy can kind of be like um, someone's running away with their thoughts or um, just escaping, making the decision to get out of a bad relationship as well, that kind of thing. Let me get more clarifying, clarifying cards here for the Hierophant. Oh my gosh, Virgo, love is on the table. Like, there's so it's so well balanced, this reading. Yes, I do feel like there's definitely some communication happening over this weekend and has something to do about progress. So a lot of talking. Um, if you've been waiting to hear from somebody, you're going to hear from them about some type of progress in, in, in a relationship, okay? I just, yeah, I can't even believe it. Like, like, for some of you, this is reconciliation. For some of you, this is someone from your past is returning, okay? I'm just going to put that out there. Well, the Six of Cups is there. So, I mean, it's a very healing. It's seeing eye to eye even with the two of cups. This is like coming together. This is like coming in agreement, head to head, heart to heart, giving and receiving a very healing. I, I mean, I feel like it is only 10 minutes. You've got judgment. You've got the wheel of fortune. You've got the eight of 
of, of wands and you have the emperor you have the ten of pentacles listen to me this is okay so maybe an aries we have Scorpio energy here. This is like things are turning in your favor. Things are going to start moving over this weekend. A lot of communication. Cupid's arrow. Someone's in love with you for sure. Or falls in love with you, you know, after first meeting or talking. Or there's like a spark. Something like that happens. There's long-term commitment, security. There's uh, definitely showing up here an energy of... um. Like even real estate, like I was saying, buying a property or a commercial investment as well. Securing the bank kind of thing. Okay, let's see what other messages are here. I can't believe how fast this, okay, this went. Wow. Vulnerability. You can be completely open with this person, Virgo. And they will feel like they can be completely open with you. Somebody wants to talk to you. Okay, for some of you, this is a spiritual connection that you're making here with someone here to teach you a spiritual lesson. It's a learning kind of thing. Oh, cards are flying. Of course, of course this card flew out of the deck and landed on the ground there on the floor. Twin flame. Divine counterpart. Now, just keep in mind, I want to just give you a caveat. These messages are very general, okay? Which means that it may not be for you. It might be, though. But listen, if you get a personal reading with me, and I say you need to forget about that person, that's the, that's the message that's coming out, and move on, and then you listen to this, and you're like, yeah, but your, your reading on YouTube said that um, my person was coming back. Listen, if you get a personal reading with me, you need to stick with the personal readings, okay? right? Because that's tailored specifically for you. If you don't get a personal reading with me, then I'm assuming that you already know that these are very general messages, okay? There's no guarantee. I'm giving a message of what I'm picking up, but I don't know who I'm talking to on the other end of this camera, okay? So I want you to use your discernment, okay? Some of you, this is a twin flame connection. You're meeting, perhaps you're true twin flame, where perhaps someone that you thought was a twin flame in the past was not. And this is the true, this is the one coming in. Or this is your past twin flame where you just needed to have a lot of patience with them. Okay? So I want you to just keep that in mind. Please, please, please. Please keep that in mind. All right, let me just move on and see what other messages are here. This one, they're like, you're not getting away. Time alone or in nature will help you recharge. And you've got new love or a recommitment to love is developing as long with someone's awakening to love, okay? Or a transformation in their life, okay? Retreating is spending time with this person over this weekend alone, just you and they. Whether that's on the phone or in person, it can be either one. I love the energy and I think that we should go with it <laughs> because it's very it's very nice I'm not seeing any shit stains here not not this weekend okay no shit stain energy for this weekend all right let's see what the Chinese sign is of you and your person okay so we've got year of the rabbit year of the ox year of the horse year of the rooster Again, rooster again, year of the goat, double goat. Um, we do have a rabbit again. Did I just see rabbit? I can't even remember. Yes. We have another ox. What the heck? We have a pig. Year of the monkey. And we have a dragon. Okay, Virgo. So that could be you. That could be your person. If it's neither, it doesn't mean it's not for you. I will give you more clarifications as more qualifiers as we go forward. If you're new to my channel, this is pretty much how I do it. All right, let's get a couple other messages here from the Cosmic Insights. Okay, health issues could arise. I feel like, I don't know if that's related to this. Your heart could be like beating like crazy because you're so happy um, that you put yourself in like arrhythmia. <laughs> Not a joke, um, but you might have some health issues that you need to keep your eye on. Look at, look, they wrote Arise, A-R-R-I-S-C. That's my Virgo 
grammar grammar nazi stuff i'm doing here earth sign taurus virgo capricorn that's you or the person that you are dealing with or there's someone that you're connected with who's an earth sign that could have some health issues that are arising you also have a fire sign showing up here aries leo sagittarius you've got patience just a few more months good things come to those who wait hmm a few more months for some of you got to wait for just a couple more months there's something gonna actually start changing and what will that be commitment things are getting serious so yeah are you going to be in a relationship in a couple of months like full-on commitment looks like it looks like it i think that's like if that's what you want that's what you're looking for or it, whether it's with someone in particular or just in general you're just tired and you want to meet somebody yeah i feel like that's going to happen for you okay you've got some challenges take time out from problems or conflicts um or approach softly to avoid making matters worse. You also have society. Say yes to all the wonderful invitations coming your way. Excellent networking opportunities and new love interests for singles would be the result. Okay. Tough and trying times. Tough times ahead. Think long term and make decisions accordingly. Avoid negative people at all costs. Looks like you're going to be like really needing to think about like make a logical decision not just emotional about um something that's showing up here in this relate in a relationship with someone okay these are like um this feels like big time big ticket item they're saying big ticket items with someone make sure you know if that's what you want okay yeah trust your intuition it's a great time to learn a new skill change careers or invest money all right Virgo's like, yeah, I'm good with that. I can do that. What else does Virgo need to hear? Pulling out all the oracles today. What else does Virgo need to hear? Okay, you've got self. Take a look at yourself. Add up the pros and cons of you. Balance things out. Reconcile yourself to accepting you just as you are, as well as those in your heart. Acceptance is key. Don't beat yourself or others up. Live and let live, Virgo. Just let it be, let it be let it be let it be and you got good friends showing up over this weekend awesome spending some time with some good friends or making good friend connections and you also have a loving older female who will be significant in your life this weekend older than you whether that's in the 5d or in the 3d you're also being asked, this is the hangman, look at something differently. Sometimes you have to let go of old notions. Even though you may feel stuck, it's just an illusion. Try seeing the situation from a positive perspective. There's a silver lining to everything. A slight change in view can and will make your predicament easier. Okay, manifestation. Lay all your cards on the table, Virgo. Fear not. Use every tool in your arsenal to create and manifest this journey as it is above and below. So it will be here on earth. I love it. One more. One more for Virgo. What else does Virgo need to know? Oh, you got a lustful, fiery spirit attached to you, Virgo. <laughs> passion off the charts it seems like passion 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 let's take a look and see if there's anything that you need to know about your career or money that will show up over this weekend anything else virgo needs to know career money skills all that good stuff and then we're going to go do the charms and get into um the initial states I'll say you guys, for those of you who are members of my channel already, not subscribers, you've joined as a member. Um, there's another, I think I uploaded one, maybe two more emojis. We do have like a mod emoji. So if you want to go check that out, you can type it here in the chat. Hopefully it works. And I think there's an HOV emoji as well. I will legit pay somebody to make emojis for me. So if anybody's interested in creating emojis, because I'm horrible at them and I mess them up so bad, shoot me an email, houseofergo at gmail. It's under my channel here. Okay, you've got ending. You may, you may leave a position or be terminated. However, there's always a new opportunity ahead. You may change careers entirely. Wow, I like that skull. 
So it looks like uh, you're transitioning, perhaps. You may be transitioning. Or if you get fired, um, you might decide not to go back into that field and just completely change your career. Do something different. Okay. And you also have brilliance. You discover your own genius by breaking away from the grind to follow your own inspiration. Your ideas bring recognition. Hey, Virgo, this really feels to me like it might be time to change your career. If you aren't already doing that or you haven't already done that, something a little bit different. You need to like kind of explore. You're very smart and creative, if most Virgos are. Um, you, you might feel inspired. You get inspired in whatever you decide to change, breaking away from the grind, you will, yeah, there's recognition that's going to come from that. Look, you also have movement. You'll make good progress now, and you will be able to overcome any obstacles in your path. Big leaps forward are possible. So if you've been thinking, if you're just like, I am done with this job, I cannot deal with this S anymore, or they're about to fire me, or you got fired, you don't want to go back to the grind, you're sick of this BS, you need to make more money, maybe you want to work from home, or maybe you want to stop working from home and get out there um, into the world, it looks like... <laughs> You've got star power here. It looks like this is the time. You need engaging work that will let your talent shine. You are a natural actor and influencer. You attract fame and fortune. Hey, maybe you're going to be a tarot card reader on YouTube. Maybe you're going to um, do something on YouTube or wherever, anywhere in your life that's like completely different. If that's something you're thinking about, Virgo, you're getting the message here. It's time to get a move on. Like get Get going with that. Okay, you also have investment. Invest in your education and make some big plans for the future. Take calculated risks, but save something to fall back on. Good. I really like that. I feel like that's like that's a strong message for you. Seriously, in your career and all that. It's time to break out. Break out of the cycle. All right, let's see what zodiac signs are showing up here for you. New and or re reuniting with. Scorpio, Cancer, Leo, Capricorn. Sagittarius, Aries, Libra, Taurus, and Capricorn, Scorpio, Cancer, Leo. Okay, pretty much the same. All right, September birthday, please. September 7th. Okay, what else do we have here? You also have, all right, two charms popped out. So you have a dragonfly and a starfish. We have the letter E, the letter A. 1969 someone's 32 someone's 53 someone's 48 august 31st 1973 someone's 45 the letter t the letter p uh, 1987 the letter j um august 24th that's my early virgos uh, the letter o joe jose joseph joan joanne September 17th, John, Johan, the letter W, September 2nd, and August 26th, okay, what else, the letter K, the letter A, AKA, maybe you have like, that's in your name somewhere, <laughs> maybe it's a username, like Kelly, AKA, House of Virgo, right, um, 1965 we've got august birthday here um oh august 29th they're saying okay august 29th i don't think i've ever said august 29th have i yeah august that's odd i never say that day it's usually the 31st or the 24th i never say the 29th uh, i don't recall saying that in quite some time so if that's your birthday this is definitely your message um Okay, actually, yeah, we've got another JWoww. <laughs> he just told me JWoww. Remember JWoww from Jersey Shore? JWoww. Okay, who was JWoww? Oh, yeah, I remember. Um, so someone's birthday is in July 1982. We have the letter F as well. Okay, I just heard Effie. Effie, like someone's name. Somebody calls somebody Effie. E-F-F-Y or E-F-F-I-E. Effie. Um, PJ, somebody's nickname is PJ, or is, okay, uh, let's see, 
Yep. Did I say? Yeah. Okay. H. Hewlett. HP Hewlett Packard or HP printer doing something with a printer okay so you've got a dragonfly here this is beautiful some of you might be looking at um, uh, wind chimes I'm just hearing or dragonfly wind chimes over the weekend you know maybe for the spring or purchasing one as a gift um, I don't know if you're gonna see dragonflies in the spring but you might which would be very interesting but this is very intricate this design of this dragonfly the wings on this each wing is completely different and tremendously unique um, so if you see a very unique dragonfly looking thing over the weekend this is definitely remember this reading there's also um, a starfish here and that's a real that like that looks like the real deal so you might see a starfish over the weekend if you live near a beach um, you know, especially now up here in America, we're getting into, um, you know, well, the northern, real northern areas, um, getting into more beachy areas, but maybe you live near a beach already, whether it's whatever the climate or the, the weather is at this time, there's a connection to a beach. Um, maybe it's called Starfish Beach or some kind of store or a starfish lane or the name of a, like a road or something. I just want to get one more charm and see if anything else shows up here for you. Okay, you do have the word love right there. And you have a dash on it. Okay, that's so cute. A little um, dash on, dash on. Is that what they're called? One of those little wiener dogs. Yep, somebody has a wiener dog. Maybe you're going to get one. You're going to adopt one. And you also have love. So love is in the air this weekend, Virgo. Maybe you have that somewhere written on your body. Or you're just writing that. Or that's maybe somebody lives on Lover's Lane or <laughs> Love Lane. Um, there's definitely a connection happening. Love is in the air. That's all I'm telling you. Like I, like, I can't stress that anymore. I feel like this whole weekend is... Oh. Oh, that's gone. I feel like this whole weekend is about that. There's going to be some type of information. Oh, wow. And they just said here, we've got the broom. So I don't know if you've ever heard this phrase, but jumping the broom, they just said. And I think jumping the broom is something to do with um, tying the knot or getting married or something along those lines. So you could, it may not be you, you could be, but there could also be, maybe you're attending a wedding this weekend or someone's jumping the broom. I've heard of this phrase. I don't remember 100% what exactly it means, but I've heard, I kind of heard it and I think I might know, but I feel like it has something to do with like brides and grooms. So if you actually know what it means or you Google it, can you leave it in the comments um, for anyone that might not know? But yeah, it's something to do with that. Okay. Or, or it could just be like Virgo's like, you know, I have that. I'm cleaning this weekend. I got to clean my house. Y'all, I just clean my bathroom and my bedroom and I'm working my way out through the rest of the place. <laughs> so yeah, you might be just, maybe you're just cleaning this weekend. You're doing something. I mean, if you're using a broom, awesome. That's great exercise. Or you're cleaning outside or you're doing something preparing for the spring so i'm gonna leave that reading there i think feel like that was pretty well rounded you know i hope that this comes true for you though like i said this is a very general reading so take what fits leave the rest and if it doesn't come true for you over the weekend come back sunday night because i will have another reading for you for the week ahead so thank you everyone for joining the channel thank you for your super chats i think that there was a new member one second i just want to somebody joined last night or rejoined um let me just double check because i know i had some people who were signed up um is tiana gutzmore i believe is new and then we had melly Haley, jason who um two of them are my mods christina xo so all you guys have um i believe you're a gifted membership so super awesome um gifted memberships by gerardo martin martin martinez so welcome thank you gerardo and thank you for joining the uh, virgo crew the virgo gang yeah, so I'm going to leave your reading here with you again. If you want to get a personal reading, you can also get a text message reading with me. Go over to my website here, and the link is in the description box below. Have a great weekend, you guys. I hope that you, um, I have all of this come true for you. But if not, I will see you on Sunday. All right, take care. Bye.
Hey guys, thank you so much for watching my readings. If you'd like to get a personal reading, please feel free to click the link in the description box below to go ahead and follow that link and book your reading. Please remember to book, subscribe, like, do all the great things. Um, and I hope that you guys have a fantastic, blessed, loving, and light-filled life. Thank you. Bye.